Today is special. Today we are getting the very first Eternal skin in Blood Strike. So what makes it different? Well, with this skin, you are going to get a pay to win iron sight and a kill effect. However, we haven't seen the other items in this Eternal stash yet. As you see on our left, there are a couple more legendary skins too. So it seems like you won't go empty-handed even if you pull 10 or 20 from this. I registered for the $1 pre-order where I can open 10 for just $1. That's a great deal. So first, I'm going to open that and see what I'm going to get. But before that, let's take a quick look at these items now just like you guys this is the first time i'm going to take a look at all the items in this eternal stash first up we have this legendary origin 12 skin mark it the very first legendary origin 12 skin in blood strike it seems to have some kind of power source inside which looks fantastic moving on to the next legendary skin we have a legendary m700 energy core skin this marks the very first legendary m700 skin in the game this skin shares the same textures as of the origin 12 skin indicating it's part of the same series of skins just for different weapons we also have this special emote which is of rare rarity nothing special in it it's just a dancing emote but the good items you already know what they are in addition to these four items we also have 20 eternal upgrade points as a separate item all right let's try our luck with the one dollar eternal stash coupons we have got 10 of them and we are going to open all of them at once okay it looks like we got legendary in the very first full let's see what we are going to get hold on i don't know whether you guys noticed but here it says energy core to guarantee cac 6 dynamite which means i just got two energy cores and now since i got an energy core it's going to give me one of the items from the five items we see here actually we got two of them so one for each energy core that's incredibly lucky if i manage to get the cac 6 dynamite i will stop here but for now let's keep going because we didn't get it and guess what we got the m700 legendary skin and the 20 eternal upgrade points for just one dollar i believe this is a great pull and i can consider myself lucky now i will try something else because my single luck is pretty good in last couple of stashes i tried seems like the single pulls didn't bring much luck this time we did get some upgrade points and an avatar but nothing too exciting there's also this epic blocky skin but honestly i'm not too interested in it i mean i have already got the legendary one so why bother about this seems like the single pulls aren't my thing today so i'll move on to buy 10 and get one for free once again unfortunately nothing good in those 10 pulls except for the charm but that's not what i want i want energy cores okay great we got one more energy core right now let's see what we are going to get out of the remaining three items that's exciting we got the very first legendary origin 12 skin and i will make a separate video for these two legendary skins but right now let's just focus on the cac 6 dynamite with these last 10 pulls we are down to just five gold we'll have to refill gold after this too bad we didn't get anything good in these 10 pulls first 10 pulls after recharging we just received another energy core that means we have got three energy cores and we need two more to unlock the CAC 6 dynamite. Okay, we got a bunch of upgrade points, but they are just single ones. In the next 10 pulls, we have got three upgrade points, which is very bad luck for me, in my opinion. It's getting worse for me. I just got one upgrade point out of the next 10 pulls. What's going on? It seems like the singles might be a better choice since 10 pulls aren't going well right now. We just got another upgrade point in the next 10 pulls. It seems like I'll need some luck to get the CAC 6 dynamite, which is the only thing I'm hoping for at this point. Wow, these 10 pulls actually didn't give us anything good at all. Finally, we got the last energy core we needed. And with that, we have unlocked the very first eternal skin in Blood Strike. It was expensive, but I'm happy about it. Indeed, this is currently the most expensive weapon skin in the game. And it's also the highest rarity. It's hard to imagine anything more expensive or prayer in the future because this is already at the top. Alright, let's start by upgrading the skin. I will use the available gold to upgrade it as much as possible. You should aim to get at least to level 2 where we will unlock the kill broadcast. Initially, upon unlocking the gun, we will get the reload animation, skins for 5 attachments and the iron sight. That already sounds solid. Upgrading it to the next level to unlock kill broadcast and weapon inspection seems like a worthwhile investment. Let's see how much upgrade points we need for this upgrade and how much it will cost. 
The next upgrade cost me 1500 gold and it will only buy me the muscle flash and the tracer for now. I need two more upgrades to get the kill effect but it is going to be very expensive so in this video I will just show you what I have unlocked so far. Once I have the pay to win iron sight I don't think I will personally care about anything else. Let's compare the iron sights. Today I am going to compare three iron sights because we already have a legendary version for the CAC 6. On the far left we have the default CAC 6. In the middle we have the legendary CAC 6. On the far right we have the eternal CAC 6. You can see the difference between these three. It's clear that the eternal skin is much easier to use. You see better with it you can aim for the enemy because the guns do not have the ghost rings anymore. What do you guys think about this iron sight? Do you think it's good or bad? Let me know in the comment section below. Also let's head over to gameplay in hot zone with these iron sights. I'll show you some kills that I was able to secure. Let me know what you guys think about this eternal skin. Another thing not to forget is that we are also getting a 3 by Bravo scope skin with this eternal skin which you unlock once you unlock the gun. Now I'm going to compare the base Bravo 3 by scope with the eternal Bravo 3 by scope and here you can see the difference. So what do you guys think about these two? Honestly for me I still think the eternal skin is better because even though the base one has cross lines it still feels much better for me with the eternal skin because it feels so stable and easy for me to control. Maybe it's different for you but that's just my opinion. Also let's take a look at some gameplay with this scope. Let me know what you think about this scope as well. We also need to check out all the camos we can equip. I mean obviously we can equip any camo but since I have already unlocked all the camos for the CAC 6, it's easier for me to demonstrate. I'll show them one by one and you tell me which one looks the best. Personally, I would go with the gold one because I literally grinded for it but maybe other camos may look better with it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below which one you think is the best one. Here is also the weapon inspection during the gameplay. That's about it for this video. I'll make another video specifically for the legendary skins we received from the eternal stash. Also let me know if you want to upgrade this weapon and see the kill effect in action. If you enjoyed the video please hit the like button, subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in another blood strike video.